I'm hoping this video will help anyone who has a problem with their iPhone 10 that has a 4013 error on it. Um, I had the problem with my phone, my iPhone 10, which uh, suddenly woke up one day and it was just continually booting. So I, I just it was kept going to the Apple logo and then stopping, going to the Apple logo, stopping. And eventually I got the screen that told me to go and connect to iPhone, whatever, apple.com slash support. Go and connect it to iTunes, essentially. Um, I did that and supposedly the way of that hopefully will try and put it, uh, Put the can put the phone in a situation where it can you can put the software back on it and hopefully it will sort itself out. Um, that doesn't work for me. It just essentially it says there's an error four zero one three error saying that it can't update. Hard look, you're out of luck. So um, I was a bit despondent about that, worried about my uh, iPhone ten. So I looked online and through digging through various other videos, I came up with uh, someone who said, well, it could be related to the proximity sensor um, and the fact that there could be water in there. Now, this isn't like you've dropped it in the, you know, a lake or something and there's water in it. It's more like potentially condensation or something like that that could build up over time. Uh, you know, so I mean, my iPhone hasn't been near any water. It's been fairly well kept, no problems, but suddenly it stopped working. So maybe this was the issue. So. I thought, well, I've got a brick device, I might as well just give it a go. So uh, what I did is followed instructions online to try and open the phone up just to essentially just open it up and see if I can take a look. The phone, the, the battery kind of needed changing anyway. It was um, you know, what a couple of years old now, I think the, the, the phone is. So uh, it kind of needed a new battery. So I thought I would do that. Um, opened it up. And one thing I thought I would try because I found that potentially the proximity sensor could be an issue, I found I disconnected the proximity sensor and the iPhone started working again, which is great news, fantastic, wonderful. I have an iPhone that works. Um, however, I don't have a proximity sensor on it, which means that Face ID doesn't work. So what I tried after that was to try and buy a new proximity sensor. So this is actually, this is the old proximity sensor that I took out and I did the work to uh, today to go and take the pro old proximity sensor off and put the new one on and hopefully see if it will work. Well, um, unfortunately that didn't work. I don't quite know why, but, um, but anyway, the good news is I have an iPhone that works again it doesn't have Face ID, but it's not the end of the world. I can type in a four-digit code every time I want to get into the phone that, uh, that, that will be okay. And also, I don't know if you can tell, I smashed the screen while trying to put the, uh, the, the screen back on. But, uh, <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Um, but it's mostly good. I could put a new screen on. I've put screens on before. And obviously, you know, this is... Um, this is obviously quite a, a maybe a, a bit of a bigger job than some people might want to do to open their iPhone and try and uh, try and get this thing working. But um, if you go and I'll put links into the description, but there's there's ways you can just look for basically change a battery on an iPhone 10 or an iPhone X, and it will show you the steps of how to go go about doing that. Um, if you go and buy a new battery on eBay or other sites like that, then they'll generally give you the tools required to open up the iPhone. So for the price of you know ten fifteen dollars to go and buy a new battery, or you know ten dollars. I mean this this proximity sensor was about ten dollars to buy a new one. Um, so not too expensive. It's certainly worth trying if you feel that your iPhone 10 is dead and you can't do anything else with a four zero one three error. Then it's worth a go. Um, alternately, you can you know, try selling it on eBay or go back to a store to try and get it uh, sorted out. But this is one solution that may get you out of a problem. So hopefully this helped.